Welcome to this video on search and rescue grids and search patterns. The first thing you want to do if you want to use the uh, search and rescue functionality is tap on the settings button at the bottom, scroll down to the bottom and ensure that search and rescue is enabled. By default it is off. Turn it on you'll notice a couple of additional options show grids. Uh, we will be using the old grid system so we'll leave that setting off. Now WingX will display the grids um, on the moving map. If you zoom out it'll obviously show more and if you zoom far out it won't show any because that would have overwhelmed the moving map. So let's zoom in a little bit and you'll see the, the grids there. What I've done is set up a route for us to fly because I want to show you how this works with uh, track up. So let's start a simulation along our route at 900 knots and that's just for demo purposes. So currently we are in north up. Let's change to track up mode. So WingX will be following the magenta line which is the route which is from Reed Hill View up to San Jose Airport then San Jose VOR and then off to Sonol and, and Sacramento. So we're actually flying west but look at all the labels. Notice how they all look correct way for readability. Now as we get to the turn, notice how all the labels stay the readable way instead of rotating with a sectional. This is really useful. You can be flying south, east, west, any heading. And just like all the identifiers of the airports or VORs, the IDs of the uh, grids will stay the kind of you know readable way. Uh, notice how the GPWS is starting to warn us of obstacles and terrain. Uh, that's from a previous version, but it's in there. You can, you can turn any of these features on or off. Okay, so let me stop the simulation. And now what I'm going to do is show search and rescue grids. Tap on the down arrow and you'll notice it says search and rescue. If it doesn't, uh, make sure you have the latest version, version 6.9 that's in the App Store or whatever version is in there currently. And also make sure that you have enabled search and rescue as I showed at the very beginning of this video down in the settings. Once you've done that, you will see the search and rescue option so we have uh, various types of search patterns, so parallel, so for example, let's say we wanted a parallel search at Tracy with an initial heading of 65 degrees, spacing of half a mile, uh, leg lens 12, we want 26 of them. So when WingX uh, redraws the moving map, you'll notice the search pattern there, and obviously we can zoom in just like we normally would. Uh, just zooming, just the, the, the pinch and zoom, and you'll notice that the uh, the search pattern gets drawn. Uh, we can tap on uh, search and rescue again and do a square search pattern, and I'm just going to leave the parameters the same, just so that I can speed up the demo. So that's a square search pattern. We also have a sector type of uh, search pattern, where it'll, uh, it'll it'll draw a sector, and you can you can fly that. Notice, by the way, as I'm dragging this around up at the top. WingX will show what, what sector we're in. So they were in SFO uh, 267 Alpha. So that's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. So as we go into Bravo, you'll notice that that changes. So that's really useful. Um, we also have an auto mode. So for example, let's say we wanted to search Tracy, this area. So we can do San Francisco 267. So that was the grid. We want to initially fly east, right turn, spacing of three quarters of a mile and then WingX will calculate the leg length and number of legs. We hit auto and, and WingX has now generated a search pattern to cover that, that grid cell. We can even do a subset. So let's say we wanted to look in this uh, portion of that cell. We could do San Francisco 267. That would be Alpha. Bravo would be on the top right and Charlie and Delta. So we can go back and limit this to the Bravo sub portion and now when we hit enter you'll notice that it'll only fill in the search pattern for that. Notice how our search pattern is actually inset off the border of the cell and that is because we have this inset turned on. If we turn that off it'll actually go the full length of uh, from top to bottom left to right of that cell. So this way we can select the entire cell or Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta sub uh, cell. Also Want to point out that up at the top it does show the cell or subcell that you're in. And so if you want to point an aircraft or uh, some search uh, 
entity towards that portion of the sectional, you can simply drag your that that uh, target that target that you're seeing in the middle there over the that area, and it'll tell you uh, where at least to start your initial search. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please send us additional feedback of what you'd like to see added, changed, improved. Uh, we're always looking to uh, help the folks in uh, Civil Air Patrol and Coast Guard and anyone else who's doing a search and rescue. So uh, please email us at support at hiltonsoftware.com. We'd be happy to, uh, to add whatever improvements you would uh, like to see. Thank you very much.